Hi, welcome back. It's Debbie. I hope that you're doing great. I am going to be doing a trash video for you today. I am really happy to be making a video today. Sorry that I haven't been on for a while, but life sometimes just gets in the way, as they say. Ooh, boat and I know it. <laughs> okay, so I have a trash, little trash can here filled with products that I have finished in the month of... Um, late September, very early October. So months. I'm just going to reach in and grab and tell you if I like it and if I would repurchase it again. Okay, this is the Sephora Super, I'm sorry, Supreme, I was reading the French, Supreme Cleansing Oil. This is a bottle that is 6.4 fluid ounces. I really enjoyed this a lot. I use this as my first step in my double cleansing process or routine, um, both not the not not the morning and the night, but in the evening to take off my makeup. In the morning, I usually just use a cleanser or another product that I'll be talking about pretty soon. This Sephora product was really nice. It was a nice price point. I think it's around $12, something around that. And I would purchase it again, but I have found a product that I really like that I think outbeats this because the other product I can use on my eye makeup without any problem. I don't have to take my contact lenses off. This one, I have to take my contact lenses off. Um, it doesn't make my eyes red or anything, but it just will fog up my lenses and get on them where the new product that I'll talk about soon doesn't. So um, I would purchase it, but I have to take off my contacts. So if I just want it easy peasy, then I won't. Not too clear about it, but <laughs> you get it. Uh, this is a face sheet mask and it's by the company Tony Moly. And it's the I'm Real Tomato Mask Sheet and it's for radiance. Um, did I notice much radiance after I used this? Not really, but after I took it off, my skin felt very soft, and I really liked the liquid that was left on my face, and in fact, I took it and rubbed it all over my neck, and, and more on my face, like rubbing it really into my skin, and I let it air dry, and the next day, my face didn't look brighter, but it just looked softer and nicer. So, would I purchase it again? I think so. Yes, I would. Thumbs up for that one. Okay. Here is a bottle of hairspray, and it, it's by Sebastian, and it's the Sebastian Shaper Plus. And the person that I... There you go. The person that I learned about this product from was Candy Johnson. I'm sure if you watch YouTube videos, you have seen at least one of Candy's videos. She is one of the first people to really make it big on YouTube um, and one of the first like real YouTubers. I love her. She's a sweetheart and she talked about this. Um, it wasn't really a tutorial. It might have been like an, a, a likes video. I'm not sure. But all I remember is that she really liked it, I bought it, and I liked it. Now the thing is, if you want to try this, you need to get the Sebastian Shaper Plus. There is another one that says uh, Sebastian Shaper, but no plus. I don't like that one. This is the one I like. It's a nice big bottle, and it's not. it doesn't have like an annoying scent to it, so I like that. And it didn't bother my asthma. So that's a big, big plus. So yes, I would purchase that again, but I'm testing out something else right now. Okay, here is a um, body shower cream, and this is by Soft Soap, and it's the Fresh and Glow Soothing Shower Cream for radiant, rejuvenated skin. This has green tea and jasmine, and I love the smell of jasmine. And green tea is usually very good for my skin. I have um, sensitive skin that can be a little dry. And on my body, um, my skin is sensitive also. And it can get even drier than 
my face is pretty normal, but my body will get much more dry. And this really helped a lot. I really like the shower gel, and I would purchase it again, absolutely. And the price point was good, too. Okay, I purchased many of these. These are the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. Um, the reason why I won't repurchase it now is that I've been following a YouTuber and blogger who is an expert in skincare. Her name is Caroline Hirons, and she's from the UK. I will try to rem remember to put her link, link down below. And she has said many times that if you have sensitive skin or skin that irritates easily, that foaming cleansers are not good for it. So I stopped using this and I'm using something else and I do feel a difference in my skin, the way it feels and the way it looks. So unfortunately, I won't be purchasing this anymore. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin, it's a really good clean cleanser. It does a great job at taking off your makeup on your face. Um, on your eyes, you need something else to take your makeup off, but this does a great job for the face, once again, if you're not sensitive to products or have sensitive skin. Okay, this is a shave cream I used, and it's by Skintimate, and this is the Moisturizing Hydrating Shave, shave Gel, and it was in the I always want to send flavor, but it's scent. Raspberry Rain. I really like this a lot. It made the whole shower just smell so nice. And it was very um, moisturizing on my legs and did a great job in helping me shave my legs without any nicks. Here's another face mask that I purchased. This one I purchased at TJ Maxx. I have stopped really purchasing um, skincare there because of my sensitive skin. Um, I'm not purchasing skincare there anymore, but this is one that I tried before I stopped. It's not a ban, but I'm just purchasing them other places. I feel like the ones that, the other products that I've tried at TG Maxx haven't been the best and I don't know the reason why. Uh, I like TG Maxx for their home goods and they have nice shoes, but for some reason, um, the skincare just doesn't work well with me. But this is an exception. This was very nice. This is a brightening mask, and I'm trying to read what company. Oh, it's by, by the company Shido San Fiber. It's right there. This was very nice. This had a separate little piece that had a serum that you broke open and you squeezed it onto the mask so that it had additional ingredients to help your skin. And I'm trying to think of what the, oh, it has um, niacinamide. And niacinamide is a very good ingredient for helping reduce redness and keeping away redness from your skin. Sorry, I'm a little uh, raspy, but um, <clears throat> the weather's changing. We're not getting fall because we never do here in Florida, but it changes and each season or season-esque, <laughs> I get like problems with raspiness and stuff, but I'm okay. So, um, like I said, this was a really nice mask. Oh, and I see back here, it's by a company called Coco Star. As you can see, I paid $1.99. And that was one of the best $1.99 that I ever spent. Very nice, brightened my skin, made it feel very soft, and I just really enjoyed it. Here's another sheet mask. This is by um, Biomiracle, I think. I'm trying to read. It doesn't have any parabens. And it's the coenzyme Q10 Collagen Essence. And this is a 20-minute miracle mask. Now, as far as miracle, I didn't really see any miracle on my skin. But my skin was remarkably softer on the areas over here and my cheeks where I get dry. And sometimes I get like a combination of dry and oily, very weird, on my forehead. I really like this a lot. I bought this in a pack at TJ Maxx. And um, like I said, the skincare, like the um, 
moisturizers and lotions don't really work work for me but I seem to be luck lucky with the sheet max masks they sell to lift the garbage can here okay this is a product by Bosha I really like Bosha skincare it's a I believe Japanese company and this is the exfoliating peel gel this is the only exfoliator that I can use that doesn't irritate my skin um, this is a physical exfoliator and I think it's also a chemical exfoliator it's a great product if you have sensitive skin if you have dry skin in fact Bosha skincare is for all skin types dry oily normal the whole range I really like this a lot I have a bigger bottle in my shower I use it about once a week when I first got it I was using it like every other day and it did get a little irritated but that's my fault that was user error definitely because um, I was using it too much but if I use this once a week it really gets off the that dead skin and my face is very soft so yes I would repurchase it here's another little product what I did is I had purchased a little mini kit and I received these in there this is the Bosha detoxifying black cleanser I like this a lot um, I'm currently using something else because I'm testing it out but I have about a half a bottle left that I'm gonna go back to it is a very deep cleanser it for me I feel like it just kind of cleans out my pores and just leaves my skin like nice and soft it doesn't irritate it at all and I really do like this a lot very nice and you only need like maybe two pumps you put it on dry skin and you massage it in and then you'll feel like a warmth coming from this product and I don't know what the warmth does but it just feels really nice then you put a little water make a little tiny bit of not a foam but I don't know what you would call it sort of like a little tiny foam and then rinse it off really really nice very good for deep um, cleansing or if you wear makeup every day or you were uh, you wear like um, full coverage every day that's a really good product to pick up here is the boots botanics and it's the rose water toning spritz and it's 100% organic I picked this up at Target and Target is no longer selling the boots products so um, at least in my area so I found this on Amazon and I have a bottle that I use every day sometimes twice or three times depending on how I in my skin feels or I'm hot this is a great like cooling off when you're just skin is you know you're just feeling so hot or you're at that time of life when you are you feel like you're raining on yourself which is those dreaded hot flashes I've started those and these type of sprays are just wonderful to spray on the face you can have makeup on and it won't ruin your makeup most of the time I use this as like my toning after cleansing and before treatment um, so yes, I would repurchase it and I have and it's in my medicine cabinet Here's a bottle of the beauty 360. That's the CVS brand and this is their original Nail polish remover with uh, protein and rich for natural nails nice product good price point definitely would repurchase and have Okay, here's a big bottle of the Bosha same thing the Bosha detoxifying black cleanser so as you can see I've used this this and I have another bottle in my cabinet okay this is the CVS PM moisturizing facial lotion now this is the one that they say is comparable to CeraVe. CeraVe is one of my favorite brands as far as lotions and um, even like uh, SPFs. Their products are really good and even though I compared the ingredients to the CeraVe they're exactly the same. I just didn't feel like this one worked as well as my CeraVe so I won't repurchase the CVS Health I'll just repurchase the CeraVe because 
I know I'm probably crazy, but it just didn't work as well. I did finish the whole bottle and I kept telling myself this is the same thing, but it just it didn't make my skin feel like refreshed like it does when I use the CeraVe. When I use the CeraVe and I wake up in the morning, my skin looks so clear and it's not red and it, it, it doesn't look dry or greasy. It's just perfect. But for this, just it just didn't do it for me. And call me a, a product snob, but I just didn't like it. Here's a bottle of the, or the tube of the Prosacea. I've talked about this many times. This is a holistic medicine. It's actually sulfur, and I use this when my rosacea acts up. It's really good at getting rid of the redness. I haven't had to use uh, the tube that I have in my medicine cabinet uh, because what I'm using now for skincare is really helping, but I still have the tube in case I get a little flare. It's there. I rhymed again. Very, very good product if you have rosacea. And also, if you get a little pimple, this helps too. Very good. But like I said, it's it's made of sulfur, so if you're allergic to sulfur, um, stay away from it. Here is a product that I got in, I believe, a birch box. And it's by the company Eva NYC. And it's the Zero Gravity Volume Powder. I did not like this at all. Um, I've used these type of powders before. Um, I'm, I am, uh, I was going to say shedding. I'm uh, slowly losing my hair. I have a lot of hair back here, but in the front, I can kind of show you, see I'm, I have like a patch there and there. And on the top, it's getting quite thin. So I try my best to kind of zhuzh it up <laughs> or fluff it up. And I wanted to try this. I got it in in birch box and what you do is on dry hair you just put a little bit and then you work it in but it just gets so tacky and it makes my scalp feel like I have glue on it I won't ever purchase any of these powders again like I said I didn't purchase this one that was in a birch box so that's a no uh, trust me I like this uh, these little bottles, I buy them when I travel because I can stick them in any bag. This is the extra firm control, but I find that this doesn't get like real sticky or, or too hard where you can't put a brush or a comb through it. So as far as extra firm, I really don't think it is, but it works for me the way it is, if that makes sense. <laughs> Couple more things and then we are done. Okay, let's talk about eyebrow products. I bought this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and I think this is just in brown. My voice went brown. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's in brown. I don't really like this. Um, it gets tacky on me, and it doesn't. then it doesn't stay. Like, if I wear it for a while, I'm trying to show you the English one I should do. There we go. If I wear it, you know, for longer than, let's say, four hours, um, it will come off at the end. And that's happened to me a few times, so I didn't even finish this. I also picked up a while ago this Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer by Maybelline. And I really like this product a lot. Now, if you don't have any hairs... Sorry. If you don't have any hairs or your real thin brow, you have a real thin brow, this really won't work for you because I find that the brush is pretty big. But I have pretty full brows. I just have a little bit of sparseness and this worked really nice. The reason that I wouldn't purchase it again is that I found a new product that I'm really enjoying that I'm going to be talking about soon in my favorites of the month. Okay, this is by the company Abelifka Professional. It's a hair mask. Try to get that so you can see it. This was also in a birch box. box. Um, I found this was really nice, but I had to be very careful that I didn't put too much or else it weighed down my hair too much. 
And the last of my empties, I'm going to show you this. I think this is called Bifacil, and it's the eye makeup remover that Lancome makes. This is a nice product. I really liked it. It didn't irritate my eyes. It took off my makeup pretty fast, and I enjoyed it very much. So I would repurchase it, but like I said, I'm using a product, kind of testing it out, and it takes off my eye makeup and cleanses my face. So if I didn't have that, then I would, I would repurchase. And I find there's a difference between this and like the CVS or even Neutrogena makes a bottle. I find that this is much better. I don't get a film on my contacts if I, if I keep them in and they don't like irritate my eyes where sometimes the like generic brands of makeup removers that are clear like this where you shake them and then there's kind of like an oil and then a water substance and it mixes. Um, they don't agree with me. This was the only one that does. So those are my empties from, I'll just say September, early October. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have any ideas of videos that you would like to see, just put them down below or send me a private message. And if I'm able to do it, I will gladly do it for you. Um, coming up soon will be um, favorites. I'm going to be switching around how I do favorites to make it where the video is not so long. And you'll see that pretty soon. So I will uh, hope to s you see me soon. That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> it's late and I'm tired. So I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. Take care. And also one thing, if you like this video or if you watch some of my other ones, please hit that subscribe and there's a bell around there that click onto that and you will get um, notifications when I do upload a video. And for those of you that stick with me during my little times where I have to take a little time off, I really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that watches my videos and for those of you that comment, I really appreciate you too. I have noticed that I have a few new subscribers and I welcome you here with open arms. I don't even like to call it subscribers anymore. I feel like it's just like a friendship and I really like getting to know the people that watch my videos and you built kind of a nice community um, of, of like like-minded, I was going to say, you know, you see something in my video or you like beauty um, and and beauty products and we, we become friends so it, it's very nice and I really enjoyed doing YouTube I would be much more consistent if I didn't have several chronic illnesses but those of you that stick with me understand and for my new friends like I said I welcome you with open arms and I better let you go because I am tired and I'm starting to like, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, good night and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.